left up. Whoa, whoa. They ain't never seen nothing like this before. Lit the room when I came through the front door. Ask me if I should suffer, come work for. Train in the trees, please walk in my sycamore. Touch burning sands, cross lands, and still me sure, sure seasons in the year, yeah. Ain't no channel for champions and chain no fear. Yup, the champ is here. Switch gears. We keep the hitters in the rear. Welcome back, guys. Today's episode. Got these little trinkets, look. See how they flex on an angle? They're what I'm going to use for the boot. So let's have a gander. So, yeah, I have uh, got no boot lock. I do need to obviously secure this. So, I'm thinking of drilling through the edges. And uh, basically. I took this off, fit them there, nice little neat, look a bit modern, and uh, fit these as opposed to having the spring set up. Now the spring set up, they're not in here, but you know the conventional rally ones with the little pull springs, not knocking them, but there's a good few modern touches on this that I just think them springs aren't going to cut it it just looks and without them in all fairness i'd like nothing but a, really a pull cord but i'm not i'm not that fussed i'm just going to put these little quick release springs and see see what these look like so fingers crossed i don't screw the carbon boot up but it is what it is another thing i'm fucking changing See how it dips in there? It fucking does my head in. Sits flush there, dips in there. It's just composite panel. If I raise that up, it just raises the edges up on the boot. Can't do it about it. So what even I've had heat gun warm the boot up, put you know, put some wood in the middle, and then I put two uh I think I put two like cardboard down. I put two car batteries on the edge, you know, and just to try and Square boot up, but I'm just gonna live with it. I'm not even not even fussed. So all I've done here, I've just uh, had a look. Really, you can see I just wanted it just above the curve, so it's the pins nice and straight, and I wanted it that central. So to, that that is like a guesstimate, guys. So boot is all lined up, best we can fit the boot. So I'm just gonna drill that, make sure it's all right. But before I do that, I best check underneath yeah so that is there to my thumb and that'll get us on that nice section there wish me luck before uh, I ruin the boot so I've just drilled through both skins of a carbon and I've just touched it on the panel so hopefully it should show me where I need to drill <laughs> beautiful just exactly where I wanted it and neat them don't we happy with that so i'll go underneath now and i'll just make this hole nice and neat and round that should give the pin because we've locked the pin in just enough to pop through i don't even know if uh let's just send it so i'll just put a little uh die grinder bit in the drill to square it up nice and neat so I'm just gonna screw fitting in and uh, kind of see if it works and uh, I'll paint screw the boot lid up fingers crossed I should have done <sighs> a good brew on Anna the answer to the question will these fit a mark to escort boot the answer is yes it will so I've Put them on. I've took a little bit of fiddly adjustment, but I don't know if I showed you this boot before. It never really 
sat right it, it like stuck too far out so I do go down sit there but what is good for me anyway is because it's composite panel and it did stick slightly proud I have to push the corner of the boot for it to click in which pulls it in nice and tight so you see, you see how that popped up so obviously that means when I take it off I'm gonna to have to just push it and then push button and then happy days and I kind of feel that they're pretty neat and discreet instead of putting the spring set up on but yeah really happy with them so one done one to go I'm not gonna film other side guys it's just a repeat but so that's it guys fitted really really happy with them awesome and and like I said they're uh, you press it it lift release the other side happy days Give them a little pressure, that's unlocked. Take that. So on to the next job. I don't even know what the next job is. We are literally just waiting for us to go for wiring. Next job, next job. I'm gonna have to find my to-do list starter. We have got the doors. I have got the new hinge plates, the little steel cutout plates that go on the front hinges. So I bought a brand new set of them because Pep dropped one into that sill. So I need a magnet, need to fish that one out. Ah, where do we where do we start next, guys? So what I have been doing is a bit of DIY flocking. So this stuff I find when you get them DIY kits, for just in it enough flocking it. So you're better off just buy the big bag as well. So, uh, in fact, to be fair, you better find the glue and the flock completely separate. Don't buy the kit. Waste of time. Become we like a flop a flock applicator. It just doesn't spread it right. Uh, they just don't put enough on. And by the time you've got enough on, the glue's dried because the glue dries pretty quick. You're supposed to put the glue on wet and then put the flock straight on. But then you end up shaking it and note comes out. And you just get mad. So what I've done here is I've just got a bowl, uh, a big plate glued it all, sat it on the plate and just literally rubbed it with my hands and just like, you know, dropped it all over. Uh, gets it done quick, easy, and then I put it outside, just naturally, and you just get that natural breeze, just takes the extra bits off. So, uh, yeah, I've done that and I'll show you the dash top. So that's a carbon dash top just to try and reduce a bit of glare, but I still obviously wanted to keep carbon because I'm a pervert. And then this section we've had to cut out for the uh, pots on the dash. So yeah, I've had to cut it, cut it in half in before anyone asks to actually get it out. I did put it in before the windscreen went in. But, so, put dash top on, put windscreen in, brilliant. Yeah, idiot's got a roll cage. You can't physically get it out, so I had to literally lift it up, find the bolt holes, and I cut it evenly, dead in the middle, so it's got even spread uh, and took it out so got a really nice neat cut so should look pretty neat going back in just gonna cut that off of this guys a uh, fair bit done I am uh, I know the next step really is to just put some more time into these doors get these boxed off uh, primed up any repairs but we are getting there and this car might be done very very soon it's literally i'm waiting for wiring oh there's wiring exhaust we've got front manifold done uh Sutton did that for me fabrication fill altered radiator part uh radiator pipes on the rad and phil also did the fittings in tank so cheers to you lads for that uh but yeah, it, uh, we are getting there, so it is just daft things. There's a pedal box leak I need to sort. Uh, really am, literally, last job. So obviously that dashboard, as soon as all this flock dries, I'll get that bolted in. 
So, uh, yeah, cheers for coming back, guys, and catch you on the next one. Hopefully, we'll have a dashboard in and a few other bits. So, right, take it easy. Enjoy your week.